I'm just gonna do a quick, easy work day. Get ready with me. Start with some eye cream. And I've been using this Pharmacy Cherry App One. It's good, I don't see crazy results, but it keeps them hydrated, so. Then I'm using this Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptides. I've only been using it since Saturday, and I see such a big difference. My skin, when I woke up Saturday, was like looking really textured and just wasn't looking overall well. Um, so I've seen this in my skincare in the bathroom. I had never even opened it and said, well, I might as well try. And it's definitely going to become a staple in my skincare. Um, I will say I would probably never pay regular price for it. I got it in a boxy charm. It's one of the things I really like about boxy charm. You get some things that you would not necessarily pay for. Um, and then Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Just there. That's an absolute favorite. I use this day and night. I have them all over the house. And their dewy lip balm as well is fantastic. We'll go with some Kula sunscreen. Super important to always put sunscreen on your face. Even if you're going to be inside all day, you're still going to be near the window. You might have other sun elements. Or even if you just go out for like a little walk or to the car. You want to be mindful, protect your skin. And then we'll go in with the e.l.f. Mint Melt. This stuff is so good. And I'm not even going to replace my Milk Hydro Grip with, like this is replacing my Milk Hydro Grip. I'm not going to buy that one again because it is really pricey. I only bought the small one to see how it was, but I feel like it's definitely helping my foundation stay on my face while wearing a mask at work all day. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I like to use a brush for my foundation. I just find it goes on a bit better. And then I'll sipple it around. And this brush is from uh, Unique. I really like this brush. I would definitely buy it again. Um, if it ever gets like old and tattered and needs to be replaced. I do bring it down my neck a little bit just to make sure that it's all in there. It's all blended. And then some under eye. I like to put a little there. And that's the Elf Camo Concealer in Fair Rose and the Foundation in 150W. If you were curious at all, blend those out and add the highlights to those areas. It just makes it look a little bit more natural. And then, of course, to brighten up my eyes and provide a little bit of extra coverage. Blend that out. Okay. That's all blended. I'm going to go with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. And I like to just shake a little bit in the cap. Now, if you're sensitive to fragrance, don't pick this up. So it's definitely super fragrant. It's something I'm trying to use up. Um, my favorite setting powder is the Milk um, Translucent Loose Powder. I don't know the exact name of it at the moment. But if you're looking for a good powder that doesn't pick your foundation up when you put it on, that's a big thing for me. That one is so good. But literally, like all day today, I'll just smell like peaches. And even though I don't put powder on my lips every time, like I lick my lips or anything, it's all taste. All set. 
and we'll go in with some bronzer. I just have this Physicians Formula Mirror Mirror Butter Bronzer Palette. And a nice big brush. And this brush is from Moda. I also got my BoxyCharm. It's really good. And I like that I can just kind of squish it and do the side of my nose because I don't contour super heavy, but I do like to keep a little bit of shadow there. And then I'm actually going to take just a fan brush and go and define my lids a little bit. Nothing crazy, just... Enough to add a little bit of a definition. And Essence Satin Blush. I did break it, but that's okay. And I have an Alamar Cosmetics Blush Brush. And these brushes are fantastic. I love them. They're so soft. I've got actually quite a few of their brushes. And I really like all of them. That. We'll go. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is a favorite and I've had this for years and it's like one of my go-to. I probably wear it four out of five days. It's such a natural good glow. And I'm actually just going to take it and take a little eyeshadow brush. Put it right on my lids too. I have a million eyeshadow palettes, but I don't really pull them out all that often. This is kind of my classic, easy workday morning look. And then we'll do brows with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This one's really good. I stopped buying the Benefit Boof Proof, and now I just buy this. I'm not great at brows by any means, but they turned out okay. That's done. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Uh, Stay All Day Micro Fine Setting Mist. And while that goes, I'm just going to fix this hair. I've been in love with just doing ponytails and buns lately. It's so great and such a time saver. I used to spend a lot of time doing my hair every day. I'm just trying to get away from that. And also like, trying to put less heat on my hair and preserve it and let it come back from years and years of heat every single day on it. Um, and I mean, my hair was way blonde for a few years too, so for about a year. So just trying to make sure it can get healthy and be, um, just be stronger, really. Um, this is one of my little favorite quads. It's just from e.l.f. Um, and I'm just going to take this dark brown on a Morphe pencil brush, or I guess it's really an eye brush, but I love the angle. I'm just going to draw like a quick little wing. This is a great hack if you don't want to mess with, if you don't feel like messing with actual eyeliner in the morning. And I don't need a big heavy wing. I just like a little bit of a line there. So that makes such a difference. And then we'll do mascara. So I've got this NYX Lash Primer. I 
And for me, the lash primer really helps just keep my mascara in place. And I will take the, oh, sorry, that was Benefit Roller Lash, such a good mascara. And a little bit of Revlon, um, Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. This is really reminiscent to the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And this one is in Rosy Future. Okay. A little bit of hairspray in, try to keep my flyways down. This hairspray smells so good. It's the milkshake one. Everything by the milkshake smells amazing. But that's all I have for you this morning. Now I'm going to go get dressed and go to work. Have a good day, guys. Bye.